Anyone that plays an instrument usually has a good story to tell about, you know, what got them into it and, uh, you know, what makes them want to play and how it, you know, inspires them. And, you know, most people I talk to, it changes their lives a bit. And I think that's really inspiring to me. My name is Evan Lindley. Um, I mostly go by Evangelos just for fun. And I'm 16 years old. When I was born, my dad would pretty much just play rock and roll all the time. He would make us the CDs with the pop songs on it, and then he'd slip in songs by like you know Green Day and the Rolling Stones, and I think even at one point Iggy and the Stooges came up, which is probably why I'm so obsessed with them. I think if if my brother and I grew up listening to you know Akon or whatever, he would disown us. When I was 10 years old, um, I got my first guitar for my birthday. Well, six years later, I'm you know, doing front of the band and uh, playing a lot at school and the advanced jazz combo. I think it's it's really incredible watching how I've progressed. I was mostly singing Metallica songs and stuff where I could just shout and it didn't really matter how it sounded. I could just kind of wing it. But once front of the band started and you know people started telling me like, wow, you can actually do this if you keep pushing at it. And it's like, okay, I'm gonna keep pushing at it then. And I think with every show I get I get better and better. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of scared to find out when that point stops where that's as good as I'm gonna get. But hopefully it'll be a long time. It'll be incredible. Life is pretty much a series of performances. To me. Standing up in front of the class and reading is a performance on its own. And even just the way you talk to people is in its, in its own way a performance. And so uh, front the band, it really helps with that sort of stuff. And it, it really helps you get out there. I learned a lot about myself and my limitations and pushing through those limitations. The point of uh, being a front person is relating to the audience, uh, making eye contact and stuff, because I, I was kind of nervous for a long time about eye contact and talking to people, uh, you know, especially girls. And uh, I think this is somewhat helped. I'm still kind of shaky in my knees when it comes to girls. But I think it's it be kinda helped me become more confident in a lot of ways. I want to see everyone's faces, and I want I want to see everyone's expression when I'm up on stage, and even if you know it's the old grandparent that doesn't want to hear this loud music. I think just being in that zone of just just being on the same level with everybody, and then strumming those chords again, you're the biggest person in the room. It's just it's just a really cool environment, and it's a really cool feeling. And I I want to perform to just bigger and bigger places, and I just I, I really want to be. You know, as greedy as it sounds, I want to be a huge rock and roll star. I learned that if you just keep pushing at something you can make, like there's really not that much that you can't do if you don't try. And it's a lot of those people that they just don't try, and that's why they never find out. And I don't want to be one of those people that doesn't get to find out.